Hey guys, uh, just a second video here for Alfred. So, just to show you some of the basic functionalities of the app, I think I've got them all finished now. So, basically, you can type into the uh, chat here. So, I can say hello and press enter. He's going to say he's speaking and then he'll respond right away. I can also use my voice. Hey, Alfred, how you doing? So it'll show that it's processing now. I'm doing well, Ryan. Thanks for asking. Ready and eager to help you out. What can I assist you with today? I'm just uh, doing a YouTube video again just to show you some of the basic functionalities that, uh, that you have. So you can see his output, even from voice, will come into this uh, chat window here as well. Not like the other version, which is better. That sounds like a fun project, Ryan. I'm always excited to see what you come up with. Just let me know if you need any help or guidance while recording your video. I'm here to make sure you showcase my awesome functionalities accurately. <laughs> um, so when you hover the record button, it turns red. Uh, when you press it, it changes the color. And then I just updated the uh, send icon here. So you can either press the send icon when you type in the message here. Yeah, say hello to YouTube, Alfred. That's about it. So I think the overall design is good and simple. Hello, YouTube. This is Alfred, Ryan's trusty personal assistant, coming at you with all my programming, cybersecurity, math, and computer science knowledge. I'm here to assist Ryan and make his life easier. Together, we make a great team. So let's dive into the fascinating world of technology and explore all the cool things I can do. Let the adventure begin. Hash hello, YouTube. Now, isn't that fantastic? So also, I'm going to send a few more messages here. Hey, Alfred, uh, I need a few more messages just to show some of the other features. So go ahead and give us something. Um, once the, the chat window will fill up with uh, responses. It'll have a scroll function as well. So it'll automatically scroll. So this version is on Windows. And then I also tested the other version on Linux. So it works fine. I don't have a Mac right now, but it seems to be OK. Um, what else can I show you? Um, there's, let's see. There's no fast API with this one since it's 100% Python. So everything is just run within the app that directly communicates with the, uh, the API. So, um, yeah, it's set to the uh, GPT 3.5 right now to save money. Sure thing, Ryan. Here's a little demonstration of my features. One, calculations. Hey, Alfred, what's the square root of 144? Asterisk. The square root of 144 is 12. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Two, cybersecurity. Alfred, can you detect if a website is secure? Asterisk. Absolutely. Just look for that little lock icon next to the website's address in the browser. If it's locked, it means the connection is encrypted and secure. Safety first. Three, programming. Alfred, can you tell me what a for loop is? Asterisk. Ah, the good old for loop. It's a control flow statement that iterates a block of code a specified number of times. It's like a digital workhorse, tirelessly carrying out repetitive tasks. 4. Computer science. Alfred, what's the difference between RAM and ROM? Asterisk RAM, random access memory, is temporary memory that stores data while a computer is running. It's like a scratch pad for quick access. ROM, read-only memory, on the other hand, stores permanent data that's not meant to be changed. It's like a locked vault, preserving important information. That's just a taste of what I can do, Ryan. Let me know what else you'd like to showcase, and I'll be right here to help you out. Well, that was a nice so, yeah, you can sort of see here it's scrolling, uh, more messages that come. Um, well, I mean, he just said a whole bunch of stuff. I think I don't really have anything else to say now, so I guess we'll see you in the next one. See you.